Right there is a little rust pinholes I was talking about, Mike. The car is a little dusty. It's been in the garage for a couple months and I haven't had it out. But The only other thing on the outside that it could use is the back bumper. It's the original back bumper and the chrome on it ain't. It's not really rusted, but it's pitted just a little bit or got like a little line through it. But it's, you know, I didn't think it's bad enough to mess with. But it's, you know, what I'm saying is not, it's not perfect, but it's good. Right here is the little crack in the steering wheel I was telling you about. Got an AM FM factor stereo with the original radio. Uh, let's see if I can see the odometer. I can't focus in on it, but it's 65,007. 51.4 but like I say everything works on air condition everything it's got a rear window defroster or defogger which is uh, not very common really there wasn't very many of them came out with that I'll open the hood and we'll look at the motor You look up in that area there, there's no rust. The 71, 2, and 3s, if you buy this car or not, if you go look at any others, you look there. That's the most common place for them to rust. There's about three layers of metal there. And if there's rust in there, well, or if there's not any rust, you know you got a good car. That's the biggest thing to look at on these. I'll, uh, I'll start it up now. Let me look down, look down the side a minute, show you how the car is straight. There's no waves in it, no rust or anything. It, you know, it's excellent. That's not my wife, that's my sister-in-law there. I'm, bought, I'm borrowing her uh, camcorder. I got her on the picture, which would probably be mad at me now. <laughs> I'll take you inside, Mike, and show you a couple of our cars. Uh, this is inside my garage. <clears throat> Little 88 Bronco we got, car trailer, a couple of motorcycles. That's a 69 convertible that I restored a little over a year ago. It's um, Playboy Pink, uh, white deluxe interior, 
That car we don't drive, it's, it's really too nice to drive. The whole undercarriage is just like the outside. And uh, it, the car is literally brand new. Um, we recorded the show, but actually we haven't really had time to show it. And so, I, I don't know, we might end, we might end up selling them, but it, it's, you know, it's such a nice car. We'll, I really don't know what we're going to do with it. We, we just kind of done it for ourselves, but we just haven't had time to really show it. But it told a concourse. Uh, this one here is a 72 Mach 1 my wife bought brand new um, when she got out of high school. Um, so she kind of got me started on Mustang. This one here, if you can see past the lawnmowers, is a 70 Mach. Let me back up here if I don't fall over something. Um, I just finished this car. Uh, I've had this car for about six years. And uh, I found a new old stock engine last winter, this past winter in Indianapolis. And I uh, bought the engine. It's a 351 Cobra Jet 4 bowl main. I put that engine in it. And like I say, I've had this car for years. And so it's, uh, I just, I just took it on a trip this weekend and put about 900 miles on it, so I'm, I'm in love with the car. So it's, uh, you know, it, it's not for sale. This one here is a 73 Mach that, um, that we've had it for a long time. It's still got the original paint on it. Um, 351 automatic with, with air. We drive it quite a bit in the summer with it's got air. The yellow one I just showed you don't have air, so usually we'll drive it some on nice days in the winter. We just switch insurance back and forth. A little Cobra too there. That's, um, I got a boy that's going to be 16 in a couple months, and that's going to be his car. I didn't want to put him in anything that was just too valuable. Uh, there's an old 64 Mercury I'm going to restore uh, uh, maybe next year. Uh, I bought the car back in July, um, that was a car I had when I was in high school, and uh, my wife and I got married with that car, and uh, so I, I bought it back. I've been trying to buy it back 15 years, and I bought it back, and I'm going to restore it. And this here is a 76 Ranchero I got that, uh, I don't know, I kind of like Rancheros, and this old car, it, it, it came from down south as one owner. It's like brand new. I got another car in the other garage. That uh, that I was telling you about the '69 428 Cobra Jet car that I'm getting ready to, to restore in my in my spare time, if if that should happen, and uh, that's why I'm selling the silver one. But I've already got two of these body styles, and uh, and I want to you know put the money in the 428 cars. What I'm that's what my intentions is. But like I say, we don't you know I try to. I try to have as good a cars because there's there's an awful lot of bad ones out there and you really got to be careful when you're buying something. <laughs>